Good morning. Wherever this finds you, finds you well. One of the thoughts I've had this pressing for a period of over a week. All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where and when this finds you, but I can only hope that this finds you doing well. Welcome back to Perspective with Mopin on this channel. Mopin well, I'm so glad that you could join us. If you could join me, if you're joining me for the very first time and seeing my face for the very first time, you're welcome. I am more than confident that this is a place where you will find inspiration, motivation, and above all, being enlightened you know, and just a quality life to pursue and to live. To those of you who are already part of this platform, thank you so much for joining me again after my quote-unquote hiatus. Uh, I was gone for a little bit, but more than anything, I'm so glad and even privileged just to be back on this platform. I think some of the things that have definitely changed for me personally is one, I'm not able to make the videos the way that I would normally make them with my uh, DSLR camera, but I'm, instead I'm using my phone, which I'm confident is still going to get the job done. I was, I am committed not only to making this video, but even videos to come. So I think now we've gotten that out of the way. I just wanted to come on here to share something quickly, which I hope could be encouragement for you watching. And this is in form of a quote that I had on my mind for a little bit now. Zig Ziglar has been famously known for sharing these words. And I thought to myself, this is something that we can all take and apply and even just, you know, one ponder on and see how we can apply this truth to our lives. He was one time quoted for answering or responding to a question, you know, or responding to a, a, a way that people think. He say, people often say that motivation doesn't last. Well, neither does taking a bath, but that's why we recommend it daily. And I find that particular quote to just be so interesting. And the way that I envision this is oftentimes when we embark on something that we're trying to do, you know, whether that's, you know, committing to a relationship, committing to a class, committing to a, a job, whatever type of commitment you've made, it often requires you to renew your conviction and your decision on a daily basis. But I feel that the error that perhaps for some reason we forget that it requires deliberate and intentional steps on a daily ba basis is the error of our personal lives. It's so easy to keep an account of what you need to do as far as your career is concerned because you know for a fact that you have to be at work on every day, on every given day that you're required to be there. You know, for example, your school, you have to attend those particular classes or whatever facet of life. But when it comes to our own personal development, somehow we forget that if we're not um, deliberately working towards our goals on every single day, that we can easily fall off track and uh, at the same time never even reach our goals. So this is for someone, and perhaps you who's watching this video, in your pursuit of the things that you're pursuing and the life that you're pursuing, have you determined to make this decision on an everyday basis? That means every day you wake up, you wake up with the resolve to get at what you're doing, to, to get busy, to get, um, in a sense, productive, to pursue that thing. Because there will be days when you don't necessarily have the motivation and all of the excuses are looking right at you in front of you. But like Zig Ziglar said, like we recommend it daily. So I recommend that you make this choice on a daily basis. And something from my faith that particularly inspires me, something that our creator said, he said, it, it says in his word, it says that his mercies are new on every single day. Can you imagine if the God of creation, his mercies are new on every single day, how much more our own personal resolve and our own personal attitudes and our convictions just to be renewed on a daily basis. That means I don't make the choice once to be in a healthy relationship. That means every single day that comes, I am renewing my decision to be faithful to this person that I'm in a relationship. That means every single day, if I resolve to achieve a particular goal, I'm taking the necessary steps to get to that place, that I'm not just hoping that my decision today is going to carry me forward into the next 30, 40 years, but it actually requires me to be deliberate with it on every single day. 
one of my personal favorite uh, scriptures declares, and it says, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. So I want to encourage you on any single given day, the one thing that I feel you need to do every morning when you wake up, you declare to yourself and you say, this is the day that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice. I shall be faithful. I shall be committed. I shall be excellent. I shall be prosperous. I shall be progressive. I shall be productive because it's not enough for you to make that decision at the beginning of the week. But every single day that comes, you renew your resolve. You tell yourself, you know, this might not last into the next day. So what do I do? What's my response when I wake up on that particular day? So I'm hoping that this was encouragement for you. And again, at the same time, a challenge for you. Perhaps you've been going about it, making a decision today. And for some reason, the rest of the week just doesn't feel feel like what you made or what you decided at the beginning of the week. I challenge you. This tomorrow morning when you get up or even whatever time you see this video, renew your personal choice, your personal convictions on a daily basis. You you tell yourself, I'm going to be a person of excellence. I'm going to be productive on every single given day. I'm going to be faithful. I'm going to be committed on every single given day. So that is what I had to share with you. I hope that this was not only insightful, but it gave you something to think about. If this was really beneficial, I encourage you to send this video to someone, send it to your family, send it to your neighbors, send it to whoever needs to see this. Until next week, it's goodbye for now.